To download and install 7-Zip to your computer, it's actually very simple. So the first thing we need to do is to go to our web browser and you want to go to 7-zip.org. Alternatively, I will leave a link in the description. Once you're here, you want to click on the download link just on the left hand side menu. And then you want to select the correct download version for your computer. Now in this case, we are using Windows 11, which is a 64-bit operating system. So you want to click on the download link just at the very top. And then you want to save the installer to your desktop. Okay, so once we've got the installer downloaded, you just want to go ahead and open it up. And you will need admin permission, so you want to select yes. Once you've done this, the setup box will appear. All you need to do is select where you want to download 7-Zip, in this case we're using the default destination, and then you want to click on install. It will take a few seconds to install 7-Zip, and once it's done, you want to click on close. So to archive a file, all we need to do is right click on the file we want to archive, click on show more options if you're on Windows 11, and then you want to hover over 7-Zip and click on add to archive. You'll get a load of archive options here, which you can leave to default if you'd like to. There's also a password encryption method if you want to use that. So once you're happy with the settings, you want to click on OK, and it's going to go ahead and archive the file. As you can see, the 7-zip example has been archived, and mine looks like this because I have WinRAR installed, but yours may look different. So to extract the contents of this archive, all we need to do is right click on the archive, click on show more options if you're on Windows 11, then you want to hover over 7-zip and click on extract files. You get a few extraction options here, including the password if you have used that, and once you're happy with the settings, you want to click on OK. And then the contents will be extracted to a folder, where if we go ahead and click into the folder, here is the text document that we used earlier. And that's it. So if you have any questions or comments, leave them below and I'll reply to you as soon as I can.